Do you speak science? Learning a STEM subject can be like learning a whole new language. Technical vocabulary. A lot of scientific language has roots that come from Latin or Greek. If you learn the meaning of these common roots, you can work out the meaning of new scientific words that you haven't seen before. For example, the prefix AR, THR, comes from the Greek word arthrosi, which means joint. When we combine that with the suffix ITIS, which means infection or inflammation, we get the word arthritis. Arthritis is an inflammation of the joints. Plurals. The way in which we use plural forms in STEM subjects is also unusual. We often encounter irregular plurals because of the word's Greek or Latin origin. For example, the word cactus doesn't become cactuses, as expected, but instead becomes cacti. Sentence structures. Scientific writing often uses the passive voice to give importance to actions rather than the person who performed them. For example, we would use the sentence a beaker was filled with water rather than the scientist filled a beaker with water. Characteristics of scientific texts. Scientific writing has some characteristics that tend to utilize statistics and facts and make objective statements rather than giving subjective descriptions using adjectives. Learning to understand and write scientific texts in English can be tricky for both native English speakers and for people learning English as a second language. However, it's important to keep practicing and not give up.